Alba and the Ocean Cleanup by Laura Hawthorne For family and friends on Claremont Road and the Hamilton House Coexist Community There was once a small quiet town that overlooked a brilliant blue ocean And beneath the surface of the warm, shallow water, there was a beautiful reef. Shimmering fish darted and dived, and strange creatures scuttled into hidden places. Amid the hubbub was a young orange fish named Alba, who lived next to an old spotted shell. Every year on her birthday, Alba found herself something special. She loved things that were spotted, striped, and round. Bumpy, spiky, and bright. Or curvy, swirly, and small. Over the years, she grew and grew. And so did her wonderful collection. But as time went by, Alba found fewer beautiful objects. And slowly more trash started to appear. Alba watched the reef change. And every year, more of her friends left. One year on her birthday, Alba had no one to celebrate with. And although she searched and searched, she couldn't find a single beautiful thing for her collection. There was only garbage. But Alba was determined. She kept looking until she was farther from home than she'd ever been. Suddenly, she noticed something glowing in the darkness. It was a pearl. How wonderful! Alba exclaimed. It was just out of reach. She squished and squeezed. Got it! She said. She had the pearl, but she was stuck. No amount of wiggling would set her free. And all she could do was drift on the ocean current. Eventually, Alba floated to the surface, where a peculiar new world appeared. Giant boats moved on the surface of the water, and white lights shone from the land through the darkness. Alba also saw a lot of trash. She longed to go home. That night, she dreamed of her old spotted shell nestled in the reef. The next morning, a girl named Kaia was walking along the beach, looking for beautiful objects for her collection. She found Alba. Oh no! Kaia said. I'll get you out. And she did. Then she looked at all the plastic bottles and bags. Our trash is everywhere. Kaia said. It's not safe for you, she said to Alba and put her in a bucket of clean seawater. We've got to clean this up. Kaia told everyone she met about Alba and about how dangerous their plastics and trash were making the oceans. They needed to make big changes.
the whole town worked together to clean up the mess they had made. They cleaned and cleaned, and bit by bit, piece by piece, the sea started to get a little safer again. Soon the ocean was clean enough for Alba to return. Kaia said goodbye and released her back into the water. Still clutching her precious pearl, Alba went home to her spotted shell and her collection of treasures. When she got there, she found that most of the trash was gone. On Alba's birthday, she celebrated with her friends in the reef, which was becoming busy and bright again. Alba's pearl dazzled her friends. As they gathered around, she told them the story of a brave girl named Kaia, who had worked very hard to make their ocean clean again.